Say goodbye to chopping veggies with these three easy, diabetic-friendly dump recipes that will save you time and hassle. Goodbye, boring steamed green beans that the family frowns upon. You are gonna want the best way, and I mean this is the best way, to prepare green beans. It just it needs a little bit more time, 10 minutes to be exact, and your family will rejoice. And guess what? It's a low carb and perfect for diabetics. Well, hello, I'm dietitian Shelly. I follow a low carb lifestyle to help all of my patients with diabetes, PCOS, insulin resistance. You are gonna want this recipe. The family is gonna rejoice, and we're starting with that bag of green beans. Now, ladies and gents, although this says wash and prepare, <laughs> no, but boo Jesus, take the wheel and take the wheel to my strainer. Go ahead and give these babies a nice little rinse because <clears throat> I do not trust that. Oh, did I mention to put the oven to 425? Whoops. Well, guess what? I just did, boo. I just did. So go ahead and rinse these and um, grab your cutting board and put those green beans on there. Now, this is the stem. Okay, so this little stemmy part, um, some people will and can, I guess, pop it off with their fingertips. I cannot do this. If you have a secret way to do this, let me know. I'm a time saver. I'd love to grab my knife and just chop these bad boys off. As you chop these bad boys off, line them in your large baking pan. This is a pretty big bag of those green beans. I don't exactly know how much this is. I'm gonna estimate that it's a pound, but I got it from the produce section. This was an Albertsons product, of course, you can find this at the Walmart and Kroger. Love, love green beans. But one of the biggest complaints I get from all my clients and patients is that it is incredibly boring and the steamed green beans, eh. And I gotta agree, some of those steamed veggies, eh. But I guarantee this is the best way to prepare these. Green beans itself, amazing for us. A cup contains 28 calories, approximately 5.6 grams of carbs, 2.6 grams of fiber, putting the net carb right at three. So this is awesome for all of my folks who are diabetic, PCOS, insulin resistance. And we're gonna add to this two to three tablespoons of our olive oil. Y'all know I love to use olive oil. It's that great monounsaturated fat, which is wonderful for our heart. And yes, I am using the Redmond Real Salt. I'm gonna get a lot of questions about, can I use this seasoning, that seasoning? And this is what I always say, I give you the base, please doctor this up to how you would like it. If you like Tony's, go for it. If you like Greek seasoning, go for it. If you like a no salt seasoning, you go for it. Gang, y'all know I don't measure seasoning. I'm Cajun. I don't think we were born with measuring spoons. Let me know in the comments what state you're from because I'm from the great state of Louisiana. Go ahead and grab those tongs, toss this, put it in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. Now disclaimer, you may want to cook this longer because you kind of like that little burnt feel. I love this. It's amazing. If you were too busy laughing and watching without writing the recipe down, scroll into the description and of course scroll down there for a menu gang much love to all and please go ahead and subscribe preheat your oven to 400 degrees you can see i have a huge baking pan i love this pan and i'm gonna line it with non-stick aluminum foil if you've been watching my channel and hey y'all i'm dietitian shelly my job is to lower your blood sugars and help you balance your hormones and of course help you lose some weight uh you know that i love non-stick aluminum foil you can use parchment paper i guess and you really don't have to use anything at all you can get your non-stick aluminum foil at of course your kroger your walmart because baby you know i don't shop at the fancy store Store. Grab your cutting board. Love, love, love this recipe. You see that I have my asparagus. It is washed. It is clean. Yes, boo. I do wash my vegetables. Some of y'all kind of pick on me a little bit about, um, oh, this isn't clean. Baby, my house old. It old. If, if it's stained, it's going to stick there. It came this way, boo. This is how it's going to be. Um, you can grab a knife, uh, which I will do in a second because sometimes I'm a little lazy. Uh, but you could do the technique of the bend and snap and bonus points if you know where that's from what movie that's from you can write it in the description section because it is absolutely one of my favorites but after a while I'm kind of um I'm a little over it I'm a little over the bend and the snapping I'm gonna grab my knife we're gonna cut that stem off that asparagus and you can kind of see I'm transferring them over to my pan and I'm grabbing one of my favorites which is the olive oil and we're gonna use two tablespoons of that you see my favorite seasoning combo. And again, you already know this if you watch this channel, but if not, welcome to my favorite seasonings. We have our Redmond Real Salt, a little bit of pepper, but of course I have my Tony's Life because I, uh, Tony's Light, whoa, hello, because I do honor my low sodium folks. I understand. 
I understand. I don't measure, gang. I'm Cajun. It's something we don't do. Let me know in the comments section if you're Cajun as well and where you're from because I'm from Homa. I would say like about a half a teaspoon of each. I don't know. I, I just do a little shaky shaky there. And then I go ahead and toss this. I am not about dirty and extra dishes. I do not like to throw things in a bunch of bowls and dirty it up. I'm like, I'm just going to do it in the pan. You can see that I'm doing it with a fork. I, I don't have fancy equipment in here. I don't want you to feel like you need fancy equipment to cook great diabetic and pre-diabetic meals and meals that are great for weight loss. When everything's coated, we're going to throw this in the oven for 15 minutes. This is amazing. It's delicious. It is one of the easiest ways to cook asparagus, but the beauty is because of that olive oil we're using, we are working to help lower our blood sugars. Gang, I'm dietitian Shelly. If you need the recipe, look in that description box. Much love very important. I want you to start by washing that cabbage. Just trust me, you're going to want to do this. Now we're using cabbage because it's only 22 calories per cup, but more important, research has shown that cabbage can decrease certain blood markers of inflammation. Now inflammation can be related to weight gain. So let's fat burn this salad up. Now when that cabbage is nice, squeaky clean, go ahead and add it to your bowl. Now I'm reaching for our next burner, which is our light olive oil. We're adding a fourth cup of this. Remember, we want to use light. We don't want to use those bottled salad dressings. Get rid of those. Those contain a lot of our trans fats, which unfortunately can cause some problems down the road for us. If though you're looking for a specific salad dressing, I did do a video on my favorite keto salad dressings. So you can go ahead and click on it at the end of this video. And now we're going to add a little bit of our regimen real salt. Y'all know I love this product. I did add about a fourth of it teaspoon. You can add a little more if you'd like to. And here's the winner, goat cheese. Now, what is so absolutely fabulous about goat cheese? The fatty acids in goat cheese are metabolized faster than that of cow's cheese, which means by eating goat cheese, we are feeling fuller faster. Now, some of y'all are a little scared of it. You see, I am just using my fork. I'm kind of doing a little crumble here. This clinic is not all about being super sexy food, folks. We are trying to make these things as easy as possible because my goal for you is to burn fat. Now, research has found evidence that choosing goat cheese over cows can help people feel less hungry and eat less of it overall, which is this is a super important important factor in our weight loss friends. So go ahead, add this cheese. I found it in the cheese section at the store. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It is a mild flavor. It's not gross. It will be one of your absolute favorites. Now, when you're done adding that goat cheese, I just took two wooden spoons. I'm giving it a little toss. I'm making sure that the cabbage is fully coated with that olive oil. Remember, olive oil not associated at all with weight gain. It actually helps to decrease that inflammation. And you are ready to serve this up. So I'm grabbing my small little plate here. I'm adding a serving to this. This salad is a perfect for the new year, for your plans. It does not spike blood sugar levels. It is absolutely delicious. It is wonderful to take to work. And gang, if you are looking for the recipe, if you missed a little bit about what I said, go ahead and look below and you could download the recipe. It'll be sent directly to your inbox. And if you want more recipes and more fun like this gang, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much.